In northern Vietnam, the mountainous terrain means that most rice paddies are on steep slopes that must be terraced. Hmong farmers plough their flooded rice fields using a traditional handheld plough drawn by water buffalo. After months of being left free to roam the upland forests, spring sees farmers climb up to retrieve their livestock from the mountains. Fattened by the plentiful forest vegetation, the water buffalo are strong and in prime condition ready for their work as draft animals. The relationship between people and water buffaloes has been such a close and durable one that there is an entire culture based upon it. For much of Vietnam's history, the scent that characterised the countryside combined the aroma of the earth with that of buffaloes. Under the beating afternoon sun in the mountains of Lao Cai province, Li A Vang wades through ankle-deep muddy water, calmly uttering commands to a water buffalo that follows his every word. His buffalo is four years old and has been groomed specifically for this role. The workday started around 5 a.m. and ploughing began before sunrise. Around 11 a.m. work stops as the midday sun gets too hot. Zhang A Kua has been ploughing with water buffalo since his teenage years. Now 46, Kua states that some Hmong farmers are now using small diesel tractors that are unreliable because of frequent breakdowns, also sometimes leaking fuel into the rice paddies. Tractors also need to be manually lifted from terrace to terrace. Unlike tractors, water buffalo are not prone to getting stuck in the muddy rice paddies, Kua said. Water buffalo are the ideal animal for ploughing, he insists. Strong and obedient, the buffalo can work for long periods taking short rests when the sun gets too hot. Their manure is an ideal fertiliser and they're able to move between fields themselves, making less work for the farmers. A healthy water buffalo might live for 15 years and work for about 10 of those. Water buffalo have been used by farmers to plough muddy rice fields for thousands of years and many, many generations.